Hi everyone, it is Elena J. Engel and I am back with video 17 in the series I've been doing of alternatives to the top 100 boy names of the year 2014. I cannot believe I'm this far in this series. We have four more videos left. Ah! Okay, so at number 20 in the year 2014 was the name Joseph. This is an English form of the Hebrew Yosef, which means God will increase. This name is very meaningful to me because I have three generations of Josephs on my mom's side, which would be my uncle, my grandpa, and then his grandpa, my great grandpa. Aside from my family members, I really associate this name with Joseph and Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, who is based off of the Old Testament Joseph. Joseph is also the name of the earthly father of Jesus in the Bible, who is Mary's husband. One of my very favorite actors is Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and I first really started loving him after watching him in Inception, and he plays an Arthur, which I love that name a whole bunch too. The name Joseph has always been insanely popular in the U.S. The very lowest it was ever ranked was at number 22 in the year 2011, and most of the years since they've been keeping track of the popularity of names, Joseph has been in the top 10 names in the U.S. So this name is extremely popular. Once again, if you're somebody who's worried at all about popularity, I would definitely look at these alternatives for Joseph instead, especially because Joseph is also used quite commonly as a middle name as well. My first Joseph alternative is Joseph. This is the English form of the Greek Yosis, which again means he will increase. It comes from the same roots as Joseph. Joseph is the name of one of Jesus's brothers in the New Testament, and it's also the first name of the biblical Barnabas. Joseph is also the name of James, the son of Alphaeus, who is one of the New Testament apostles. Joseph has somehow never been ranked in the top 1,000 boy names, and I don't get why, because this name is so easy and accessible. Could honor a Joseph or a Moses. It's just similar to so many names and I think that someone who likes Joseph might like Joseph because again it could honor a Joseph and has a very similar sound in nickname options. My next Joseph alternative I have is Joseph with this spelling. This is the German form of Joseph which again means God will increase. Now I include this name because for the longest time I wanted to use the name Joseph to honor my many family members with this name. However I don't like PH in names. I know it's very odd but I just don't care for how it looks and so I had always planned on using the Joseph with an F spelling to honor my family members. Unfortunately, I've had multiple cousins use Joseph after my family members, and so I don't plan on using it. But I think it would be very fresh to see on a little boy in 2014, since Joseph is not common at all with this spelling in the U.S. There's an actor with this spelling of Joseph named Joseph Alton Pipar in the Game of Thrones show, and Johann Strauss, the composer, had a brother named Joseph Strauss with this spelling. Something else I find kind of cool about Joseph with this spelling is that since it ends in an F instead of a PH, I do think Jeff would work as a nickname as well. I think that someone who likes Joseph, again, might like Joseph with this spelling because of course it sounds exactly the same and can honor a Joseph. My last Joseph alternative I have is Yusuf. Yusuf is the Arabic form of Joseph, which again means God will increase. This name can also be spelled with an O and pronounced Yosef instead of Yusuf. There is an American jazz musician named Yusuf Latif. Otherwise, it's not a very common name in the U.S. at all. And again, I think someone who likes Joseph might like Yusuf because it has a similar sound, same being an origin, and can honor a Joseph. At number 19 in the U.S. in the year 2014 was the name Lucas. Lucas is an English form of the name Luke, which means light. I really strongly associate this name with Namer Megan, who is Tulip by any name on YouTube, because this was her top boy's name for a long time, and she still loves this name very much. I also associate this name with George Lucas, and there is an actor named Lucas Till and another YouTuber named Lucas Crookshank, who has the Fred character on YouTube. So unfortunately, Lucas, from my experience, is a very, very common name. I see it in a lot of classrooms, and I am seeing it used more and more often as a middle name as well. This is definitely rising and has been in the top 100 boy names since 1993, and has been in the top 1,000 most years in the U.S. I do think it is starting to get dated as well, unfortunately, though it is very handsome. My first Lucas alternative I have is Lucius or Lucius. This is a Latin name that means light. Oh, it's such a grand, gorgeous name. A lot of people will associate this with Lucius Malfoy from the Harry Potter series, who is not a good character in most of the books, but then kind of redeems himself at the end of the series. So I do find it a good association. Also, the biblical Luke is called Lucius in some parts of the Bible. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this name could be pronounced either way, Lucius or Lucius. I really, really like the 
association for the movie The Incredibles. Lucius Best is the guy who plays the ice superhero in that, and he is hilarious. He's probably my favorite character from that movie. The name Lucius has been in the top 1,000 most years through the year 1968, but not since then. Oh, I don't know why. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I think someone that likes Lucas might like Lucius because it has a very similar sound, and they have similar nickname options as well. My next Lucas alternative I have is Lucian. Lucian is the English form of Lucius which means light again. This name can also be pronounced Lucien or Lucian and can be spelled L-U-C-I-E-N as well. I definitely associate this name with YouTuber Stephanie or Anastasia Ruby on YouTube. She has a little son named Dashiell and they came really close to naming him Lucian. There is a Pokemon character by the name of Lucian and there is a character from League of Legends by this name. This name is currently ranked at 608 in the US and it was in the top 1000 boy names through 1952 and then just re-entered in 2005. I think that someone who likes Lucas might like Lucian because they have a similar sound, the same meaning, and then similar nickname options. And my last Lucas alternative is definitely the most grand, and that is Lucretius. And Lucretius is a Latin name that means wealth. There was a Roman philosopher by this name, and Lucretius was the name of a prominent family during the Roman Empire. I think that someone who likes Lucas might like Lucretius because they do have a similar sound, and they could both go by Luke as a nickname. And number 18 in the year 2014 was the name David. David is an English name that is a form of a Hebrew name that means beloved, wonderful meaning. Of course, a lot of people will associate this with the biblical King David. This is a family name for me because it is my husband's dad's name. There are tons of celebrities with this name. There is David Tennant, who is a very famous British actor. David Schwimmer, who played Ross from Friends. Famous soccer player David Beckham. David Arquette. David Barinas, who plays Steely Booth from The Bones Show, David Caruso from CSI Miami, David Duchovny from The X-Files, David Hasselhoff, David Spade, David Thulis who played Professor Lupin in the Harry Potter movies. David is one of those names that I see so often I don't even realize some of the people who have that name because it's almost so generic unfortunately. There are also several singers with this name such as David Archuleta, David Grohl from the band Food Fighters, David Lee and David Roth from Van Halen, and of course this name is also associated with the Charles Dickens book David Copp. Field. I do have to mention super quick that there is a book series called No David that are my absolute favorite books to read to the kids. They are hilarious. This was actually in the top 10 boy names from the years 1936 through 1992 and has always been in the top 1,000 boy names in the U.S. Very, very popular and I do kind of find it a little bit dated. My first David alternative I have is Davis. This is an English name that means belonging to David. It's definitely one of the most popular surnames in the U.S. I've known just absolutely tons of people with this name as a last name. There's a Digimon character named Davis, and there is a character from the show Smallville named Davis. This is actually all the way up at 446 right now. I'm really excited to see it being used so much, and has actually always been in the top 1,000 boy names in the U.S. I think that someone likes David like Davis because it sounds similar to David and can honor a David. My next David alternative I have is Arvid. Arvid is a Norse name that means eagle tree. There's an American painter named Thomas Arvid, but it is extremely uncommon as a first name. However, it's in the top 20 names in Sweden. I find that very fascinating, and I would love to see that travel over the seas to the U.S. And I think that someone who likes David might like Arvid because they have that similar ending sound. My last David alternative I have is Daivat. Daivat is a Hindi name that means powerful strength and can also be pronounced Devat as well. I was surprised that I found this name on most name sites because this name is not only extremely uncommon in the U.S., but is even uncommon over in places where Hindi is spoken more often. This would definitely be a very rare and unique name if you were to go with this for your child. I think that someone who likes David might like Devat or Devat because it has a very similar sound and they could both go by Dave as a nickname. At number 17 in the year 2014 was the name Jackson with this spelling finally. This is an English name that means son of Jack. Jackson is being used so often that when someone is expecting a baby boy in 2015, you could guess Jackson and have an extremely good chance of getting that right. With there being three spellings that were in the top 1,000 and the most common spelling Jackson with like this rising so popular, I do think it will be in the top 10 very soon on its own. And certainly when you add all the spellings together, it's easily in the top 10 names in the U.S. Of course, I associate this with Michael Jackson and the Jackson 5, him and his brothers. And I associate this with the Percy Jackson series, Samuel L. Jackson, actor Joshua Jackson, Jackson Rathbone that played Jasper in the Twilight movies, and then of course Peter Jackson. Jackson is also the capital of Mississippi, and Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the U.S. This has been in the top 100 boy names since 1998, and it has always been in the top 1,000 names in the U.S. 
My first Jackson alternative is one of my very favorite names, and that is Maxon. Maxon is the Welsh form of Maximus, which means greatest. There's a child actor named Maxon Lintz, and this is the name of one of the characters from Arthurian legend, but it is otherwise very uncommon in the U.S., and I think this name is just absolutely stunning. I like that it can have Mac or Max as a nickname, and I think that someone who likes Jackson might like Maxon because they are very similar in their sounds. My next Jackson alternative I have is Jansen. This is an English name that means son of Jan. This can also be pronounced Janssen or Johnson. Jansen Panettiere is an actor and is the brother of the very famous actress Hayden Panettiere. And I think that someone who likes Jackson might like Jansen because it has a very similar sound and surname feel. And my last Jackson alternative I have is Branson. Branson is an English name that means Raven Sun. Branson is the name of a very popular tourist town in Missouri. I have been there before and it's absolutely wonderful and a great association. This first entered the top 1,000 point names in the year 1995 and is currently ranked at 673 in the year 2014. I think that someone who likes Jackson might like Branson for the very similar sound and because they're also both names of big cities in the U.S. My last name for this video at number 16 is the name Matthew. Matthew is the English form of a Hebrew name that means gift of God wonderful meaning. This is of course the name of one of the apostles in the New Testament and of course one of the books in the Bible in the New Testament as well. There are many celebrities with this name such as Matthew McConaughey, actor Matthew Greg Gubler from the show Criminal Minds, Matthew Perry from Friends, and Matthew McFadden who played Mr. Darcy in the 2005 version of Pride and Prejudice. My dad has a first cousin named Matthew that I do see frequently, and he has five children that have incredible names, so that's a very good association for me. This name has always been within the top 300 names in the U.S. and was in the top 10 names from 1972 through 2005, and it is very slowly going down in popularity. My first Matthew alternative I have is Matthias. With this pronunciation, it is a Greek variant of Matthew, which again means gift of God, pronounced Matthias with this spelling. It is a German name. If you take one of the T's out and pronounce it Matthias, it is the Danish, French, Norwegian, Swedish form of this name. And if you spell it M-A-T-I-A-S and pronounce it Matias, it is the Spanish, Finnish, and Portuguese form of this name. Some people will try to pronounce this name as Mateus. This name is not pronounced that way, but if you spell it M-A-T-T-H-E-U-S, that is a Latin form of this name and it is pronounced Mateus, like I mentioned earlier. Matthias Sconarts is an actor who plays Clark in the Lewis and Clark miniseries. And Matthias in the Bible was the name of the apostle who replaced Judas Iscariot. His name is currently ranked at 580 and is rising in popularity and it first entered in 2003. I think that someone who likes Matthew might like Matthias because they have a similar root and meaning and they're both New Testament apostle names. And I do think Matthias could honor a Matthew as well. My next Matthew alternative I have is Bartholomew. Bartholomew is the English form of Bartholomaios, which means son of furrow. Bartholomew is the name of one of the apostles in the Bible, also known as Nathaniel in the New Testament. I mentioned in my last video that my husband has a cousin named Joel, and his full name is actually Bartholomew Joel, and he goes by his middle name, though some people do call him Bart occasionally. This name was in the top 1,000 boy names a few random years between 1902 and 1971, but is otherwise extremely unpopular in the U.S. I think someone who likes Matthew might like Bartholomew since they're both names of apostles in the New Testament. And I mentioned in my last video about how interesting it is that Andrew has that unusual E-W ending sound. And Matthew and Bartholomew both fit into that category as well. My last Matthew alternative I have is Matteo. This is the Italian form of Matthew, which means gift of God. And spelled with just one T, it's actually all the way up at 106 in the U.S., which is the Spanish form. This, this spelling, however, is currently ranked at 375 and rising in popularity, and it first entered the top 1,000 boy names in the year 1998. Actor Colin Firth has a son named Mateo, and singer Ricky Martin has a son named Mateo as well. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous name, and I would love to see it used more, and I really love the idea of it as a middle name as well. And I think that someone who likes Matthew might like Mateo because it has the same meaning and origin and could honor a Matthew just like the other names. That is it for this video. Please let me know what your favorites of the alternatives I listed were and any others that I didn't mention that you love and thank you so much for watching. Bye!